Hi, in this video I am going to talk about resource governor. Resource governor is one of the feature in SQL Server. It has been there from SQL Server 20, 2008 onwards. But from 2014 onwards they have added a new feature where we can use IOPS as a resources in a resource governance. So previously we are able to add only CPU and memory. So from 2014 onwards we can use IOPS. So in the you those who are new to resource governance so resource governor is a feature where we can allocate the resources to the specific work group or users so when we allocate that resource pool or uh, resources to them they can use only that allocated resources amount they can't exceed with that amount so it will be helpful to uh, increase the performance of the sql server so all right so if you have a, a number of services running on your SQL Server, so if, if you want to uh, uh, allocate few resources for uh, one of the service and uh, more resources for another services, then you can use resource governor to specify or to create a resource pools and allocate to the different services. So in this, dem in this session, I'm going to show a demo with just uh, IOPS so b rest of the features are same so instead of adding all the features here i just added only the ops if you want to restrict or your cpu and memory still you can add it here so those cpu and memory are uh, uh, notified as percentage so you can uh, have 0 to 100 percentage out of that you can still restrict to the specific resource uh, resource uh, pool all right so here i'm just creating a resource pool with just only that minimum IOPS and maximum IOPS execute this alright I'll just try to connect so I lost the connection so I'll just copy paste new query alright so I'll just execute this so we have already one so we'll just have another name called resource pool one i just created a resource pool only with iops so i'm going to assign this resource resource pool into this workload group so basically we need to create a workload workload group to allocate or assign this resource pool so once we assign this resource pool to this work group then we can create a classifier function where we can define who who can uh, use this resource pool here i'm creating a user called user1 actually i'm assigning a uh, user1 to this particular uh, workload group and assigned with this particular resource pool so whenever that user1 executing any query he can he or she can use only this much iops he or she cannot exceed more than 30 iops so iops is nothing but input and output so read input and write output again it is based on the storage disk so i'm just creating a classifier function so these are the three components that we need to know when we go with the resource governance so first one is resource pool and workload group and classifier function so once we have created this then we are good to go then after that we need to uh, alter the resource group with added function we just created a function as a separate one we need to add this function with this resource group so we need to use this function sorry uh, the statement so we now this classifier function is added with the resource group so the next thing is we just going to create a new database so the database called my io test db and i'm just creating a new login called user1 so as we are uh, used to user1 as a user in in this function we just creating a new login with that user all right and i'm giving db owner permission to that user so next we are going to create a new table under this database the table name is io test all right 
Alright, so we don't have a IO test already, so that's the reason we got an error message. We created a IO test table. Now we are going to insert a few records into the table. So you can ma you can manipulate uh, number of records into the table. So here I just used a sys column as a sys table, and I'm trying to add uh, top 50,000 records into the table. So it is going to run for 100 times. So 50,000 into 100. So you can see that one. And we are just going to execute this table and see the records. All right. Now go to performance counter, if you are uh, new to open this performance counter, you can go to or you can search here performance, performance monitor, so just open performance monitor, click performance monitor, here you have an option to add up performance counters. So here I just click the plus button, here I am going to choose SQL Server resource pool alright so here resource pool so under that I have uh, different uh, resources and instances so this is the one I created I'm not going to use this one so I'll go with the default uh, for the first time I'll take uh, disk IO disk read IO again and uh, disk write IO again I'll add these two counters and I can see this so I'll change the color to yellow and this one is blue alright so I'll just add this now I'm going to execute the query as a just uh, a normal user not with a user 1 so I'll just execute it is executing so as you can see it is showing something or it is not showing something because it's just taking a processor time alright so it is very less as you can see to see the difference I'm going to or you can uh, I'm just stopping this I'm going to connect the session with user 1 so I'll disconnect this and here I'll use SQL Server user 1 so before that let me confirm we have that user and I'll add the password as a new one alright so let us try to connect the instance with that user user1 so I just connected I'm going to run this query as as a user1 so I'll just execute this so before that I'll just need to add that specific resource pool so go to here and go to same SQL Server resource pool stats alright here so here I'm going to choose resource pool 1 as I just created now I'm going to use that resource pool and I'm going to take a same this guy will read and write all right now I'm going to execute this query so you should see the small very small spikes with that blue color So since I have a very less resources it is not highlighting that as a separate one I'll just stop this pause again okay it has completed let me try to execute one more time or I'll just clear just don't want this I need to add read IO again read IO for this resource pool all 
right so as as completed I'm just running this again uh, so it will show so basically I have a list record so it is not highlighting that so if you have a more record uh, in your test environment you can see the spikes with that red color as we just created a resource governor for that specific user alright 